Welcome to the intro to CCW series. In this video, we will show you how to create a user-defined function block and use this within the programs created within your project. User-defined function block allows you to create your own custom function block that can be used for modular programming. It allows you to reuse code in multiple programs, makes programs easier to read, and can also be exported for use in other projects. Right-click user defined function block in the project organizer window and select add to create your user defined function block. This can be created in all of the three program types that are available on the controller. Once created, double click on the function block within the organizer to open the workspace where you can program the functionality of this block. In this case, we have created this as a ladder diagram. We can start by defining what inputs and outputs the function block will have. Right click on the created user defined function block and select parameters. This shows what your function block will look like when you add it into one of your programs and what inputs and outputs will be available to connect to. Let's add three inputs and two outputs to this function block. Do this by clicking on new input and new output respectively. These inputs and outputs can be renamed to make more sense to someone using the function block. Details around these inputs and outputs can be altered below. Here we will copy and paste some logic from our existing ladder program in order to create the internal logic of our user defined function block. Here the function block will be used to replace some of the existing logic in the ladder diagram. We will replace the variables selected from the ladder code with the input and output variables we created for the user-defined function block. Build to verify there is no issue with the program. You can now use this user-defined function block within other programs in the controller. Open the ladder diagram and select the rung you wish to place the new user defined function block on before clicking on instruction block. Double click this block to open the instruction block selector and find your function block. Note that if you have not named the function block, this will be called FB1. This can now be used in your ladder program the same as a standard function block. To associate an input to the through input, select a direct contact and associate an input from the controller to this. For the output, output 1, you will need to do the same with direct coil. The remaining inputs and outputs can be selected by clicking on the top field of the input and looking through your available variables. Build to determine if the program has any errors preventing download to your controller. You now successfully know how to create a user-defined function block and use this within the programs created within your project. That brings us to the end of the introduction to user-defined function blocks video. We hope you found the information valuable and this enables you to get started on your Micro 800 project. 